Hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss specialist. Today's video, podcast, wherever you're listening in on this, is about why if you want to lose weight and you want to keep it off, you need to stop counting calories. I know that's the most prevalent means of diet here in in the United States as well as many places around the world, but outside of a short-term quick fix, it's not the best idea. I'm going to go into a little bit about that. Before I do, just want to tell you a little bit about me, my day, what's going on. So it's another gorgeous sunny day here on Long Island, and I, and I make this for you from my parents' home. So if you've been following me a while, every Tuesday and Friday, I return to my hometown of Port Washington, New York, and I help my grandmother rehab from hip replacement surgery she had last summer, as well as helping my dad to improve his heart health and put on some muscle after two heart attacks and three years span left him pretty far and out of shape. Good news is, both are doing better. I thank you very much. Now, one of the ways that I also like to give back is by answering questions on Quora. For those of you unfamiliar with Quora, it's a website where site members can ask experts different things on different topics. Since I'm one of the top rated experts on weight loss, health, and fitness, I get a lot of questions about, and I quote, the best diet and workout regimens for beginners. Today, we'll cover diet, as that's far more important for sustained weight loss than fitness is. The great thing about nutrition is that what's best for beginners is also what's best for advanced practitioners. Keeping your nutrition simple is the ultimate goal, while constantly checking in on your caloric intake is a faulty practice. I know, I know, the calorie equation is based on the law of thermodynamics, and since we're physical beings, it must be the best dietary strategy for weight loss based on science, right? Well, not so much. When our bodies are restricted to calories for too long, our bodies go into a starvation mode. At this point, regardless of the quality of the foods we're eating, everything we eat will be stored as fat because our bodies are acting as if we're in a period of drought, starvation, or famine. That is not optimal for sustained weight loss and will only breed frustration a few months into this routine. Trust me, I know from personal experience. I went through a two-year plateau based on this faulty nutritional logic while on my 100-pound weight loss journey. Getting through the day on a minimal amount of food and trying to sleep at night after an exhausting workday and workout with a growling stomach was no bueno. At the time, I thought that's what it was going to take in order to lose weight, but two years of stagnation and lackluster results proved otherwise. Think about it for a second too, just from a practicality standpoint. Do you want to input your food into an app like MyFitnessPal for the rest of your life, letting a generic number based on a generic calculation factor in your age, gender, height, current weight, and a desired weight indicate how much you should be eating? Do you want to risk low energy throughout the day or hunger pangs when you're trying to sleep at night? Yeah, didn't think so. If you want to incorporate a nutritional system that works, you have to keep things K-I-S-S, an acronym that stands for Keep It Simple, Stupid. How do you do that? Well, simple. Eat meats, vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, and no sugar. Eat only when hungry and just to satisfy, not to stuff your face. Two sentences. Memorize them, apply them to your daily food decisions, whether you're preparing a meal at home or you're eating out at a restaurant. And if you need help with your nutrition, please feel free to set up a call with me to discuss your nutrition and to see how my nutrition program can help you. Until tomorrow. Hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss specialist. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you can do me a favor, please click the link below and subscribe to the channel. Every day I'm going to be popping out new content that will enable you to learn more about nutrition, fitness, and mindset as it relates to permanent weight loss. Now, there's a million programs out there that talk about how to lose weight. There are shows on TV like Extreme Weight Loss and The Biggest Loser. The problem is all of these show short-term fixes that aren't exactly healthy either. I'm more about doing this in a healthy, sustainable way so that you can achieve permanent results. So you only have to do this once. So what I'd like to gift you, if you're interested, is check out my website at Weight Loss by Pete. Dot com. There's going to be an opt-in on the page where you can get a free report detailing the five strategies that I personally used to lose 100 pounds, 
keep it off for good, and now my mission is to help as many people as I can to do the same without the research, trial and error, and years spent plateauing, not knowing what to do from a nutritional, fitness, or even mental standpoint. So check that out. I'd love to gift that to you. And feel free to check out the channel and any upcoming videos. Feel free to go back and look at my older ones. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you tomorrow.